guys and greetings to all a very warm to see the lake so welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to talk about importance of reading or you can say why reading is important and reading matters a lot why reading significantly matters today a reader tomorrow a leader oh what a nice interesting fabulous non-fiction fiction autobiography biography essays poems prose newspaper and magazines and many other interesting genres of reading i love and enjoy reading so much because reading is very important for me reading not just matters to me it also matters to you it also matters to everyone reading is very crucial for me because it enriches my life in every direction Reading gives me a new perspective, new outlook, and new hope, and also profound changes within me psychologically, professionally, emotionally, and intellectually, most importantly. Reading has always been my best friend, because it is a gateway to change and develop yourself. The more you read, the more you will travel. The more you travel, the more you will experience. The more you experience, the more your changes and growth you will have. Therefore, in nutshell, I sincerely urge and would like to request to all my viewers and youngsters especially like me to read a lot because reading matters to me, it matters to you, it matters to everyone. If you do not want to miss the flavor and taste of the book, I think you have to read a book. It can be anything, you can read anything. You can read newspaper, magazine, non-fiction, fiction, story, poem, essays, prose, history and it can be anything but I think reading is very important. You can read anything, so reading matters a lot. At last, I quote, Reading is the gateway skill that makes all other learning possible. I unquote, by U.S. former President Barack Obama. Thank you, thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is Hubu Doma and today I'm going to talk about why reading matters to you. So basically about the importance of reading books. And for me, reading books matters a lot, of course. But to be very honest, I don't read a lot of books and I don't have good habit of reading books. But then I'm going to tell for sure that reading books is very important and it matters a lot. Because in my own situation, for example, because I didn't read lots of books, I faced lots of problems. Like when I'm writing my own essay, sometimes I ran out of the vocabulary. Sometimes I forgot some words or sometimes... I do small grammatical mistakes and I'm sure it's all a consequence of not reading books and I'm sure people who read lots of books might not be facing these kinds of problems so it's very important to read lots of books so you won't face these kinds of problems in your life and a uh, book can be of any type you know it, it should not be like always boring novel it can be your uh, newspaper it can be your own subject textbooks it can be uh, fiction, non-fiction, story, inspiring, anything. It can be of any text, you know. Just make sure that you read lots of books. Because when you read books, it's always so useful and advantages. It's no waste of your time, skill and energy. It's always, always helpful for you. So it always enriches your vocabulary. It develops your reading and writing skill and so many other things. And one interesting thing about reading books, uh, what I felt is like, when you read book, it's more of like you're interacting with the author of that particular point. So it's more of like you're exchanging your viewpoints on some particular point and it's more of like uh, you're exchanging your ideas with the, that particular author about the life perspective and so many other things. So I think it's very interesting once you get that deep interest in reading books and once you get that idea behind the reading of books. So just make sure that you read books and make sure that it's your good habit. And even I'm going to try myself that... Uh, that that reading books is one of my good habit and please make sure you visit your nearby um, bookstore or visit library or just be on your bed on Sunday morning and just make sure that read books it can be of anything any language so I hope this video will kind of like help you a bit and thank you so much uh, have a great day hey, namaste this is Nadia Mishra how reading helps reading kaise help karta hai you know the most important development of a human being is intellectual development how you develop how you evolve yourself intellectually how diverse is your perspective how open you are how democratic you are to the view of another person reading helps in developing multiple perspective okay everybody has his own perspective and you need to remember one thing not two people can think in exactly the same way because we are human we have a different story we have a different journey 
ओके जब हम रीड करते हैं किसी भी चीज को स्टडी करते हैं मल्टीपल पर्सपेक्टिव हमको समझ में आता है एक ही इवेंट के बारे में बिकॉज वी हैव अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी वी हैव अ डिफरेंट सोसाइटी वी हैव अ डिफरेंट ओपिनियन On one issue, a nationalist will think in a completely different way. An internationalist will think in a completely different way. A sociologist will think in a completely different way. Or when you read opinion, read, करते हैं, you are you are not only reading, you are not merely reading. You are actually interacting with a person on an intellectual basis. You cannot talk with all of the person on just like face to face. आप उसके ओपिनियन को पढ़ते हैं अपने माइंड में आप कन्वर्जेशन करते हैं लेट्स टेक अबाउट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट कि हम क्या क्या स्टडी करते हैं क्या क्या पढ़ते हैं रीडिंग ने मुझे कैसे हेल्प किया वी रीड इन न्यूज पेपर वी रीड अबाउट आर्टिकल्स वी रीड आर्टिकल्स वी रीड अबाउट प्रोमिनेंट पर्सन वी रीड द ओपिनियन ऑफ एमिनेंट पर्सन वी रीड अबाउट ऑटोबायोग्राफी वी रीड बायोग्राफी वी रीड नॉवेल्स एंड मेनी थिंग्स आई लेट बी समराइज इट हम क्या क्या स्टडी करते हैं आर्टिकल्स पढ़ते हैं ओपिनियंस पढ़ते हैं नॉवेल्स पढ़ते हैं अब क्या होता है जब हम न्यूज़पेपर आर्टिकल्स पढ़ते हैं किसके टू राइट इन अ न्यूज़पेपर यू नीड अ वेरी गुड कमांड ओवर करंट अफेयर और सोशियोलॉजिकल हिस्टोरिकल टॉपिक्स यू गेट टू नो अबाउट द ओपिनियन ऑफ अ पर्सन हु हैव स्ट्रगल्ड अ लॉट इन इज और हर लाइफ हु हैव अचीव द लॉट इज इन हिज और हर लाइफ हम नॉवेल्स पढ़ते हैं नॉवेल्स में कई सारी स्टोरी किस तरीके से इवॉल्व करती है दैट इज अ पीक ऑफ क्रिएटिविटी That actually enlarges, that actually diversifies our perspective over a single thing. How differently you can think over a single event that actually develops a democratic values in you. Let's talk about biography and autobiography. Autobiography means a person is writing about himself. Biography means a different person is writing about another person based on deep research. When you read about autobiography, you get to know about the struggle of a person. You get to know how a person has suffered and how he evolved himself. लेट्स टॉक अबाउट बायोग्राफीज जब कोई इंसान किसी और के बारे में लिखता है ही एक्चुअली लीव द लाइफ ऑफ अदर पर्सन वेन यू रीड अबाउट ओपिनियन ऑफ हिस्टोरियन एंड सोशियोलॉजिस्ट यू गेट टू नो हाउ फील्ड हाउ इज स्टडी फील्ड इंस्पायर सिम एंड एंड शेप्स हिज परस्पेक्टिव रीडिंग गिव्स यू वैल्यूज रीडिंग गिव्स यू मल्टीपल परस्पेक्टिव रीडिंग गिव्स यू इंटेक्चुअलिटी एंड इट लेट टू द इंटेक्चुअल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अूमन बींग टच जिले बुक्स आर अ कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ फ्रेंड्स the wisest of counselors and the most patient of teachers hello today i'll be sharing with you the importance of reading books and i think it's really amazing how a book can be a friend our counselor and a teacher and i think book has the power to attract the minds of people irrespective of their ages so how can books be our friends so just like we uh, are engaged in a conversation with our friend we try to understand and listen to the other person right same as with the books we try to understand what is written on the pages we try to seek knowledge from what we are reading right and uh, i and books also helps to remove uh, the thought of loneliness that some may have in their mind so that's really important and how can books be the wisest of counselors as human beings it's not only important for us to be uh, physically healthy but it's really important for us to be healthy mentally emotionally and psychologically in the process of reading we try to understand um, what is written right so uh, we it helps us to increase our focus and concentration thus they become uh, a counselor to us and how are they the most patient of teachers for many people books uh, uh, have been the means through which their lives have changed and at some points in our lives too books um, inspire us to change uh, ch- change something in our lives right so um, i think it's really important for us to cultivate the habit of reading and especially to motivate younger minds to cultivate the habit because um, it's uh, go it, it could be the first step uh, for them to be creative uh, because a book uh, helps to open the doors of imagination for a person and re- reading of book is important for me um, because it really helps us in communication it we are exposed to a wide range of vocabulary and uh, 
uh, through books we can you know um, add more to the existing knowledge within us um, and i think we sh- all should uh, you know motivate ourselves to um, cultivate the habit of reading books at some point and to those who are completely engrossed into reading books you are doing an amazing job keep up the good work thank you thongmar dile ya ni ya che bi peri bin da yong la ya cham di mang bu yue ani tring ni tro chu tring da wan la ki ni nga la ya su su ki pe tu lo be nyong chur ta ta na si pe tu lo be ki ni thi to la ya ji shi ru chi da shi ju san ba ani nga la ya ni ko wu nga ni yin da yin shi ni song zang ani nga la ya ko ko san wo de na wo la ya ni ni go ru pe ding ni tu chi chi shi shi ni ta thong ma de la ya ani ju shi thi to ma shu ko la ya ani su su ki mo ru pe zam chi shi ba yi na ani nga ra ming la ya ani chri wang de la bi yue ani thadi sha la ani nga ra banglur me de to lo khang na la ya ani ming ge to do ring thang bi na la ni yi ge jang da jang shi ba yi ani ni pe de lo bi nyong so ta ani de yi ni ke ni de ga la chi shi di san ba ni ke bi tunsin shi ga la du shi e wa chi yue shi yi ani tunsin thang bu de ka le shi ba yi na ani nam sha gyun de du ya ani su su ki ani pe de lo ni ki ka sa shi cha chu ba yi na ani pe de lo pe ka su ani ji ge da ta pe ga ni chu tu ba dan chi che ni ta na shi ki ni pe de lo pe ka su ya yi ge ki cham chi ya de zu la ya ani ha zhang ge ya ni pe du ga ge zin chi mu chi ge yu de san bu du ni pe zin chun ju shi sha ba yi na ani nam sha gyun de ya ni ji ge te lo ni nyu nyu de zu ge ya ni yi ge lo pe ka su ni ji ge da ta bu ma yi ba dan ta na shi ki yi ge lo pe ka su ya ni ding zu dan ding zu me ba ji de de ni yong yu de san bu du ani kenji ni ba de ka yi cha ge de shu ba yi na ta su su yi ge ta pe de lo pe gyu ni de yi chu ni ta su su la ji ge ta cha te la yi ya ge ji shu chen bu ji du de san bu yu kyun zin ka yi shu ba yi na su su yi ge ta ge ro de din be lo te chi lo gi yu yi na dra ani tong de chi lo gi yu yi na dra de lo be ka su ni su su yi ge chi de zu la ya ji to nan chi chi de ta cha de de ju du wa tinde re to wala tu tu tinde chi ge da chi ge tona chi be kyun se la te ni ni su su la ya chi ge ni pe du lo pe ka su ni su su la ya ta cha ge te la ya ni chi ge ya ki ji du re ni san bi yu de ni ge tun zin ni ba na yi ta tun zin su ba di shu ba yi na ni ta su su ge pe de lo pe te yi kyun zin du ni su su la ni chi sa ba xie re ta na xin ge ni ta ni sa ba ta ta ni ni ji mu din de chi ge xie la ni ni ge ni pe du na ni kesi chimbu shi tong du de kyun zin ka yi shu ba yi na su su ge ta pe de lo pe kyu rim de na mo le ya ni chi sa ba ta ni chi tu ma yun yun ta na xin ge chi ko ma de wa de zu la chi ge chin ye ni chin ye be kyun zin du ni su su ge ani chik zu de ta na xin ka bar ge kyu rim tong ni ni su su la chi ge chi sa ba xian ta ta na xin ta ni sa ba xian la de ge ni kyu wa ta ni pen du shu chimbu shi yu de de ni tu de na ba ge lu sa bi yu de ting de su ba yi ta tun zin shi ba de ka li cha de shu ba yi na ma ran zu pe du lu pe kyu zin du ani pe de de na ya kyu pe ani ge zu ge ni zu ta ta na xin ge ge zu ge lu yu so la de ni ni ma ran zu su su ge ri bo du be to ni nam chi pe che be to ni ani su su ge yu la ya chi ge xie zhe yu de sa wa ra ta ta na xin ge tong ge tu ge chi ru du ya la so gua ding de kan la ya chi ge ni ni ge pen du shu chi bu shi yu de san gui du ta di ting zhen shi ba de la yi ta ma ran ge pe de lu be nong zu ru chi shi wei na ding de du de ta ma ran ge pe de tong de lu ya pe zhe yi ma ding de chi wo ni bu zu ba yi te kap su ta pe de lu be kap su ya ni ma ran la ya ta ka ni ta de de bu wang bu chi ting ni yu sam sam ta chi ko ma zu ting ko ma zu ni tong de lu be kap su ya chi ni chu ya ta ding de ge ta su su ka ni ma bu chi de su ta ding de rin be rin be su su ge ta de la ya chi ka ni zu tong de chi ni ya ni ni ta ding de chu ni ni ge ni tong de lu ya ni ko zu ba yi song za ta ni ga ta ga de bu xing ge de zu la ka li xue yi shu ba yi na su su yu ni ya chi ge ta pe de lu ya ta de zu la ni ge yu yu ke chen bu tong du song za ma ran zu ni tu tu tong ge ka zu cham cham ma zu ge sa shu lu ya ta ta na xin ge pe ge tu bu lu ya de zu 
Hi, this is Naveena. Today I want to share with you why I think reading is important. I'll start with my journey. Before 2018, I used to be somebody who, uh, who just read books that were of the course, belonged to the syllabus, nothing outside it. I had no picture and no idea about the picture, what's going around the world, nothing. And I had to bear the brunt of that when I came to the university. So that was one time when I uh, realized that um, I have missed out a very important thing in my life already and I need to make, I need to compensate. And for that reason, I uh, went to, uh, that, that realization came in the university itself. So when I went, so I used to, what I used to do was I used to go to the bookstore and uh, be there for like an hour and used to, I used to select two, three books, bring, that, bring them home. And I, what I did was I used to sit till the end and complete it. So no matter if I liked the book, whether I liked it or whether I did not, I made sure that I finished it. And that way I can say that one thing that definitely um, I have learned from reading books is that I've learned to develop patience. I've developed my patience in a way that I can sit and complete the book. Yeah, definitely not all together or not all at once. But yeah, I would not leave it in between. So that's patience number one that I've learned from it. Number two, at first I used to bring the books that, um, that, was, that, that, that I didn't like, but very slowly and steadily, I used to understand that this is not something that I like. I, need, I think I need to start choosing something else. And in this way, I understood what my interest was. I, used to, I, I understood where, or what kind of books I like, and in that way, definitely I understood myself, an aspect of me in a better way. That was one thing, one thing definitely. And uh, then the other one thing that I learned from reading was that when I used to read the books, what I used to do was I read the author, uh, author's uh, under of course, um, while I'm reading the book, I read his understanding too. I used to uh, understand the picture in which, in which he is written, what is the background of his writing, like what is the situation in the world in which he is writing. Then I, and then I try to compare it with my with the current situation and in that way I used to I learned I learned how to analyze things and so definitely there, this is one thing that you get from reading you learn to analyze things you learn to take a stand of things you understand what is right what is wrong you develop an understanding of your own you understand what is you, you get a better understanding of your character you know that this is right or wrong and you can prove it rationally that's one good thing that a person gets from reading uh, well, all these things, um, a reader, these are the qualities of a reader, but this is not something that is developed overnight or at once. It's a journey in itself. You read, you, uh, you, you discover your interest, then you read better and then even better. And then there's this point where you can associate yourself with things, get a better understanding, take a stand of your own self. So all this is uh, the all these are the qualities of reader and definitely this is not something just that comes just from books. Reading means anything. Reading from magazine or reading essays or definitely newspapers. So I started reading newspapers when I came to uh, college in 2018 and that was when I uh, you know I read it in a way at first I used to read it in a way like just the news I used to read and okay I'm done but then I tried to uh, then I started associating myself with it the background of the news and why it's happening what are the developments is it a positive development or is it a negative development why do what are my reasons for tagging that as a positive development or a negative development in this way my analytical skill I tried to work on my analytical skills so this is all this journey um, I I I think uh, I just began I just I've just started I've just um, I'm I, I just staying to that journey and so I think there's a long road that I have to walk on but definitely it's not um it's not a useless investment I mean if it's an investment it's not useless of course so it is an investment it is a uh, productive it's um, for my own personality development for my own internal growth and that is why I think reading is very important thank you Tashidalek, Namaste, Hello. My name is Chenmay Solanki. I'm doing my Master's in Political Science from the Maharaja Sayajira University of Baroda. These are my thoughts on the importance of reading. I enjoy reading because it opens my world, gives me new insights, new understandings, 
uh, it allows me to experience and know about certain things which were previously unheard of or not possible to be known in that sense it expands my understanding of myself as well uh, our history is really important to understand who we are where we come from and what we can be what is our limitation and what is our capability in that sense he uses a political understanding of the world how we perceive the world and how the world perceives someone like us who am i as a man as a woman as a as an indian as a non indian whatever there are so many perspectives to be understood to be learned by reading so if i want to understand someone i can read them even if i cannot go and meet them or i do not speak their language now especially with the internet and many of the works being translated into english and me being lucky enough to know english uh, allows me to access a lot of experience a lot of books which were previously unreadable unknowable people would not even have known that something like this exists even now a lot of people do not know that certain books exist or certain ideas exist and it is also a lot of fun to read so books can give us a uh, books can give us a, a form of pleasure which other mediums cannot give us like movies or even music because this uh, this medium of books of articles of short stories allows us to imagine what is happening in the story allows us to imagine the world that is being created by the writer and it is a it is a lot of fun to imagine these things to let your imagination uh, run free run wild so yeah i consider reading a really important uh, thing to do in life for anyone really if you have the access the capability you definitely should and if you do not have it then uh, i would suggest that you try to achieve it as much as possible thank you all for listening to my thoughts very much these were my thoughts on reading kusuk tuk chanangro take care stay safe goodbye hello i am sanam pramlani and today i'm going to tell you something about my journey of reading so reading has never been my cup of tea or coffee in that matter until one day my mentor told me something and it just clicked so i have been fond of writing since my school days and uh, it just happened that four years back i met my mentor and he told me to write something good you need to read something good and it just clicked So I tell you how the strategy works when you are reading something naturally you are updating your knowledge and once you you update your knowledge you get good ideas you get new new ideas you get creative ideas and yes that you can apply in writing so yes i saw the results myself and yes since then i have been reading this is this was the first thing and the second thing would be you know when you are at a place when some discussion is going on about the current happenings in the world and if you don't know anything about it you feel embarrassed yes it actually happens and i have experienced that myself so this is the second thing why i think it's important to read see it's not necessary that you know the subject in deep if you don't have any inclination towards it but having little bit no little bit knowledge of the same really helps to a great extent so yes i would i would love to suggest that like me you also might be having some other other passion just link it with that and yes i'm damn sure you'll also start <laughs> you'll also start to love it so yes yeah thank you so much hi folks uh, this is satyam 
and I thank Tawa Bhaiya for giving me this wonderful opportunity to speak on why reading matters to me. So yeah, if you have seen this wonderful cartoon show Doraemon, you must know about this gadget anywhere door, a common appearance in the show. Yeah, basically what it does is that it takes you to places. You open a door and it takes you to places. And for me, reading is like that only. It takes me to the places. It is my visa, my passport to explore beyond my own small world and enrich my uh, garden of wisdom simultaneously. Yeah, simultaneously. And I think it's very important to keep reading because knowledge won't hurt you. Uh, the more the merrier. See, yeah. To quote Dr. Seuss, uh, the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you will go. Unquote. Uh, in this age of social media, when there's steady stream of information, but so shallow that that your that even your fingers won't drown in it i think reading becomes quite important to give uh, depth to uh, your knowledge and to expand your viewpoints to gain new perspective of what's going on to put it differently uh, maggie without magic masala is what you are if you don't read and if you want your maggie to be good hey, you need to keep, you need to add magic masala and that's what a reading is reading is that <laughs> magic masala it will uh, give that depth that height to your experience of uh, living the life uh, and to quench your curiosity you know of knowing things the more that you know is better for you uh, and it's quite satisfying for me uh, i think that will be all add magic masala if you want your maggie to be good try mutter sometimes read some no books yeah hello people this is kashish here and i am to speak about why reading is important to me or why reading matters to me so first of all i would begin with reading has always been uh, everyone's priority as in from school to college college to professional career and of course reading other types of books has always made my life very much stress free reading comics uh, comic book is always my priority and that has made my life stress free i always feel uh, relaxed when i read and of course reading, uh, reading has a great contribution uh, towards developing skills abilities confidence concentration lot many things and um, talking specifically about me i have always been uh, curious in reading psychological books analytical books that has always contributed so much in my life in my career and my profession so um a reader today is a leader tomorrow so keep reading and make your life stress free namaste the world of literature offers a vast range of topics and stories to explore because of this diversity reading can be very personal and unique experience for anyone who chooses to make it a lifelong journey for me reading has taken on different forms from a burden of task to a source of relaxation and enjoyment as a college student these forms continue to fight with one another but reading is something i will always see the good in so why is reading important to me in all honesty this is hard to answer there are many answers to that question that are somehow independent of one another but also integrately linked but the main thing is that i enjoy it i love reading i love going on adventures with the characters sharing in their joys and mourning their losses with them 
I have explored many worlds and gotten to see so much more of the world that we live in. I have seen battles fought and fought alongside my char- my favorite characters. I have celebrated victories with them. I have mourned losses with them. I have helped to bring about change and I have conquered challenges all without leaving comfort of my bed. It always helps me to relax, to unwind after a long day, to take my mind off the day worries, of the daily worries that I have. Reading has allowed me to put some pretty awful days behind me by transporting me to a different world where I can just take my mind off from everything. Reading has allowed me to develop into person that I am. It has changed ideas and points of view that I have had and shown me new ways of thinking about the world. It has taught me love and friendship and just how powerful this are. It has showed me that doing what is right is not always easy, but in the end, peace and good will always win. It has allowed me to develop and though the world is a big and scary place sometimes, with the right people and friends, the world can be changed into a better place, one where we all can live together. Reading has helped me to discover some amazing friends, both real and fiction, from all over this world and many other worlds. And for that, I'm forever thankful as I have no idea what I would do without all these amazing people. Books have allowed me to discover so much and I have no idea what I would have ever do, what I would ever do without them. They truly are something remarkable. The world of literature is extraordinary and sadly, not enough people choose to uncover the wonders it offers. You can read about your experiences than you could have in your lifetime. Perhaps this is another reason to begin your journey with reading early, to see and experience so many ideas and stories while you are still creating your own. Thank you.